All coming in as reported basement fires. It just looked like a, an absolute war zone. There was no warning. Columbia gas overpressurized pipelines sparked a series of explosions and ignited dozens of fires in the Merrimack Valley that started just after 4 p.m. on September 13, 2018. A year later, are we any safer? I don't think we can say that. Our gas system is still fundamentally the same system with some of the same key vulnerabilities. Environmental scientist Nathan Phillips says the aging infrastructure makes it leak prone. There are thousands of leaks in the city of Boston. There are tens of thousands of gas leaks across the Commonwealth. Every gas leak has the potential to become explosive. To investigate those leaks, the I-Team has learned the Department of Public Utilities has just 15 inspectors, but only six are certified to conduct independent inspections. It's not enough. Those numbers compared to the 21,000 miles of pipelines that are under our streets and sidewalks throughout the Commonwealth, and 7,000 roughly of those miles are considered to be leak prone, that is a, a very small staffing number to be in charge of that scale of infrastructure. DPU says the other nine inspectors will be certified in the near future and is hiring others. The state also created a new law that requires certified professional engineers approve all plans for gas work. This is our safety town. Basically in here we can do all of our emergency response training. As for safety improvements made by Columbia Gas, the company says it installed new gas lines and is in the process of beginning compliance checks of the abandoned lines. It also installed layers of safety shutoff systems in every home to prevent overpressurization. Every customer on a low pressure system will have the benefit of having over and under protection. Works just like a circuit breaker. No one has to be there. It senses automatically the pressure of the gas in the pipes, and if it's too high or too low, it will automatically shut off. We additionally are installing a lot of remote monitoring. In the end, researchers say, We have learned some lessons from that event that will allow us to be better prepared if and when something like that happens in the future. The NTSB is working on a final report of the incident. The Department of Public Utilities is also conducting an independent evaluation of the natural gas delivery system. Both reports should be out later this year. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBZ News.